Hello and welcome to What It Takes this week. I am excited to be here with you guys. My name is Jake Story. I am the manager of coach development for Canada. Here at Beachbody, we have an entire group of people dedicated to helping coaches reach their potential. If you are a diamond coach or above, check FAQ 7581 to learn more about how we can help you achieve your goals. This week on What It Takes, I am excited to be here uh, with 10 star 2000 elite coach, Melissa Saint Laurent. Um, so we are going to get right into this. Uh, really excited for this guy. So Melissa, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, so I'm from Quebec. You will notice uh, with my uh, English by my accent. Uh, I'm a mother of two. Uh, I have a couple of twins who are uh, two years and a half two and a half years old. Uh, I have been coaching for three years and now. Uh, I have a background in uh, social work and administration. I did um, my university in uh, social work and administration. But I finally uh, have not worked in uh, those areas. I uh, started my business with my uh, boyfriend in, um, it was a pool and spa uh, company that we uh, started in 2010 but uh, it did not work as well as we would like and in the meantime i saw the coaching opportunity so uh, i finally grabbed this opportunity and here i am today a full-time coach excellent so tell us how you were introduced to beach body um, I became a coach in uh, February 2015 um, and I knew the program uh, about uh, two years before um, because when I started my business, I, I really gave up on me. I was not taking care of me. Uh, I used to go to the gym before, but I was no longer going. I worked a lot. I was not enough sleeping. Um, I spent most of my time at the office. Uh, I was not taking the time to cook, so I was not eating well also. And on top of that, I was experiencing a lot of stress because my company did not bring the financial financial profitability that we would like and uh, we to be honest we were really in debt we had trouble paying the bills paying the, the monthly terms and this lifestyle um, uh, led me to uh, several health issues uh, I was um, uh, doing medical consultation to um, find what was going with me and no diagnosis was uh, there um, I had uh, many uh, stomach uh, ailments fatigue, uh, at age, uh, digestive pro problems, and a lot of stress. So I finally realized that I had to do something, that it was my lifestyle that I had to change, and it was me that I had to do something. So I came across a video of uh, my coach, Emily Robida, on Facebook and she was doing turbo fire at this time I remember she was in her kitchen with her son and uh, he was sitting next to her and I saw how much she had pleasure to do this program and how her shape was so incredible so I said to myself oh my god if she can do it I have no excuses I can do it too so I did some researches to uh, know more about the program and I bought this program. I did it from A to Z uh, in my uh, bedroom every morning before going to uh, work. And I followed the meal plan and it really changed my life. It brings me back my health and uh, my um, health issue, issues start to decrease. Uh, I gained energy and really I was in love with this formula because uh, I was able to work before to work out before work and um, to have my uh, energy for the day. So I was talking about this uh, this program uh, to everyone around me uh, and uh, I continue doing um, the other program after and I was uh, continuing following Emily on her page. But I have not even talked to her, never. I took uh, my inspiration from her every day to keep my focus. And I was really uh, dreaming at this time of her life because my life was not giving me what I, 
I was dreaming of. Uh, and I saw that she was fulfilled, that she uh, was living a happy life. And um, uh, with my financial stress and my issue, and I was dreaming of that, that kind of life. But I was too scared to, um, to uh, be a coach at that time. I was lacking confidence. I had uh, really a lot of fear of what other would think of me, their judgments. So I did not um, go uh, in, uh, I did not take the opportunity of coaching, but it came to a point in my business, the other business, the, the pool and spa company, uh, in the winter of 2015, that the situ financial situation gets really worse and we had to change something. We uh, at, this, at this time, I remember that we had to change our cars because we need to reduce the terms. Uh, we rent our home to um, and move to my parents-in-law to be able to pay the bills. So I was really uh, in a poor situation and I was looking for an, uh, a way to earn extra money the, so we can meet our needs. Uh, so the coaching opportunity came back in my idea and I talked to uh, about it with my boyfriend and I find I found that it was perfect because I could combine both because this opportunity as is uh, is really mobile and flexible so uh, it was perfect and my uh, boyfriend was uh, encourage, encouraging me so uh, I get out of my comfort zone uh, and I it's really this need to earn extra money that was my push goal to uh, do it I love it and you kind of touched on this that you started coaching a little bit even before you were a coach, because you were telling everybody about this. So when you in, decided to start coaching, what did those early days look like for you? And how did you kind of start to grow your coaching business? I remember that as soon as I signed up, I uh, looked on YouTube, on Google, who was the top coach. <laughs> so I found Melanie Mitchell's uh, YouTube channel and I watched every video uh, she had on her YouTube channel um, and she really gave me this vision of what's possible and that if I put the work into it that I can really um, um, uh, have my dream life. So um, I decided to go all in and to put the effort uh, as soon as I signed up. So Im immediately I created my Facebook page. I invited every friend um, on my page um, and I started to post daily on my page to inspire people. I wanted to um, help them to take care of them and I remember that um, I um, spent a lot of time thinking of my publication of what I will post on social media because I want people to think to um, and wanted to uh, help them to change their habits. So when I uh, begin, I uh, did my coming out and I had few participants for my first challenge, but uh, I knew that I had to uh, expand my network if I wanted to have long-term success. So I decided to organize a free challenge. So um, I invited uh, my friend privately to this challenge and also the people who were interacting on my post on social media. And um, this helped me to gain confidence from people and to, uh, to gain their trust. And I repeated uh, month after month after. And um, this is how I grew my business, doing the vital behaviors and expanding my, my networks uh, month after months it's not complicated to be a coach we just have to uh, to uh, do the vital behaviors and um, that's it and at first I was doing uh, coaching part-time because I had this other company so it was in the morning before going to work I was doing my daily action I was responding to my message um, during lunch or during break times and, and when I came back home I was doing another power hour uh, at night because uh, I the people that uh, had respond to my message I had to uh, respond back uh, so sometimes it was late but um, I wanted to make the the effort because I knew that I had the vision the vision that um, everything that my dream life was possible so um, I've never counted the hour I was doing it with uh, passion and by pleasure um, because it was also fulfilling that it, it is still fulfilling, fulfilling myself to feel that I'm making a difference in people's lives. 
And um, to make a short story, in September uh, 2015, we decided to close our uh, other company because, in fact, we went. Uh, go through uh, psychologically and financi financially, uh, but there is a good news. A good news that came to us after uh, a few days that we closed our company. Um, I learned that I was pregnant, that we were about to have twins, and uh, at this time I really saw the coaching opportunity as my plan A. Uh, I wanted to develop to develop my business during my pregnancy and during my maternity leave so that I would not have to go back to um, another job on the traditional job. So I invested myself all in at this time uh, because uh, I wanted this to, uh, to, to come, to, to, uh, to be realized. Uh, so I faced several obstacles my, uh, when my child, my children, um, um, are, were born, they stayed at the hospital for six weeks uh, because uh, they were too small to uh, get out of the hospital. My son had, um, uh, they had to investigate on him because he had apnea and bradycardia. And um, when he came back home, uh, he had a monitor on him every, every day, um, 24 on 24, because uh, he could add, stop breathing every, anytime. Uh, so it was really, really stressful. And I was also breastfeeding my twins. So I could have any reason to quit at this time. But I had my goal in mind and I was determined to achieve this goal. So I put the effort in and uh, this, uh, this, uh, this um, goal uh, has been achieved. Awesome. I love it. Um, you've really proven that you can do so much in a little amount of time because you were so busy with, you know, your other business and then your kids, uh, but you were still able to get that business going. So what are some of the habits or attributes that you would say have led to your success? I think the success is really a question of mindset. You have to believe that it's totally possible that you can do it and to have a vision of what's possible. Um, I think personal development is really important to stay positive during the way because we are facing really several obstacles. Uh, but um, having a vision, having a good mindset is really the key. And to to succeed, you have to be consistent. Is the, It is the key. It is a business that we have and we have to treat it as a business. Uh, we have to treat it seriously. If we are not posting on social media for one or two days, people will start forgetting about us and they will find their inspira inspiration elsewhere. Um, it's the same as if we want to go to a restaurant and it is closed what we will do, we will go to another restaurant because we need to eat. It's the same thing for people. They need our inspiration, our motivation. So if we are not present, um, they will go elsewhere. So consistency is a key. We have to uh, invite people. We have to do the vital behaviors. It's really the key to success. And something that really, really, really helped me to um, push my business uh, is having a success partner. I'm really grateful about founding her because um, I would probably not be where I am today if uh, she was not there. Every day we talk, we encourage, encourage each other, we motivate and challenge also ourselves. And um, we work on common, on common projects and um, seriously, a uh, success partner is goal. Awesome. I love it. Now for a new coach who's just kind of getting started, what would you say are some keys to see for them to see success? I think that um, when you are a new coach, you have to take action as soon as possible. Because if not, the fear will um, will uh, come, will, will appear, and um, you will be too scared to take action as long as it um, as it goes. So you need to take action uh, really fast, and it's not complicated. You do not have to reinvent the wheel. You just have to share what you are doing. You have to. Um, follow a program from A to Z and to share your journey, to share your result. People will start to trust you when they will see that what you are doing work. And um, this is 
not complicated. You have to invite people, like I said earlier, uh, to share your enthusiasm um, to, uh, to show that the products are working, to be a product of the product. And I often say to my coach, uh, it's not complicated. You have to start with your warm market. And if you um, discover a good restaurant and you uh, really enjoy the place, it's a new restaurant and you liked it, next week you want to go with your friend what are you go what are you doing you are not thinking about what is uh, the exact uh, thing on the menu you are not thinking about what are the name of the waiters over there you are not talking thinking about the itinerary to go there you are just taking your phone and texting or or calling your friend to invite them to share how much you had a great time, you loved what you eat, and you invite them to, to come with you next week. It's the same thing with coaching. We just have to share what we love, to share how this formula has changed our life and how it can change their life too. So we have to, to share our enthusiasm and it's not complicated, seriously. We just have to, uh, to make our, to um, put our art into it and to talk in our words simply we don't have to know every pro product every program we do not have to to know every price and to how to uh, sign up uh, someone we just have to to take action and when we have questions there is a lot of mentors that are there to give us the answer so just ask uh, if uh, your mentor is not uh, available there is also star diamond uh, uh, coaches upline that can help you so if you want to succeed take action and you are responsible of your success and really you have to uh, to take action as soon as possible <laughs> I love it now along the same lines for a coach who's struggling what would you say to them right now um, I would say that this business is is really art and every business is art but we have to think long term we have to have a vision of what's possible of what it can change in our life we have to let the change to 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 to, to um to, to let us a ear to, uh, to know what is possible. We cannot take conclusion after a month or after two months. We have to put the effort consistently month after month and to, um, to, uh, to, to give us a ear to, uh, to, to, um, to have the result. So <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm losing my English. <laughs> so, <laughs> We have to, uh, it's a roller, roller coaster of emotion. I know sometimes we have ups and downs and uh, sometimes it, it's really hard, but it's part of the game and it's the same thing for every business. But when we are facing obstacle, it's make us stronger. And I often um, say to uh, people who are struggling to keep a journal of gratitude and to put into this journal um, what we are grateful for and the transformation of people that we change their life with this formula and to um, put everything positive in this. And when we have bad days and we uh, face something difficult to take a dose of this positivity in this journal. So I think that really what, difference the, what differentiates the people who succeed and the others is really their uh, ability to stand up to these obstacles and to focus on the ultimate goal and to believe that it's possible. So really um, make personal development and focus on, your, on having a good mindset. I love it. Now along with that, what is some of the best advice you've been given for your business? The best advice I've been uh, given was uh, by Arno. Uh, I was struggling with my leadership uh, at the beginning. Uh, and during a meeting, um, we were at a diamond retreat and Arno um, reminded me that when we start a new job, we need to know what to do. We need to know what we expect from us and what we should do during the day at our job. What are the objectives that we should reach and it's the same thing for coaching. So I realized that I have to be more um, directive with my coaches and to uh, help them know what to do as 
first as soon as they sign up and so on. So I put this advice into practice and really my business uh, took off after this. And really, I appreciate this advice from Arnold. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we're going to go into the speed round. Um, so we're just going to ask the question and we'll get the response. So the first question is, on average, how much time do you spend working your business a day? Um, this is my full-time job. So I'm uh, about eight hours a day uh, as if I was going to uh, another job and sometimes more uh, depending on my goals. And during the weekend, it's uh, normally in the morning. Um, if my kids are sleeping in the afternoon, sometimes I will uh, have the opportunity to work. Uh, and sometimes at night when we, depending on the activity that we have. Awesome. Now, thinking back to when you had your pool and spa business, how much time would you say were you putting in per day when you were running that business as well? Um, I was uh, doing my workout and a power hour uh, before going to work. So an hour in the morning, um, I was taking my lunch for coaching. So around 45 minutes over there and break time. So maybe another hour, another three hours a day. Awesome. I would say. Okay. What's your average SC each month? Uh, 90. It's 90 points sometimes it's less sometimes it's more but in average 90 points excellent and when you first started where was it when you first started my first month uh, i had 20 and after the second month i think it was 30 and um, and i average about 20 awesome thank you now what percentage of time do you focus on your own business versus your team uh, actually, I would say 70% for my personal business and 30% to my team. But sometimes for my team, it's more because I really like them and uh, we have a, a great time together. But uh, I know that I sh should uh, invest more in my business. Uh, I try to up this to 90%, 80% uh, for my business. Love it. How many coaches are you enrolling each month? Um, I enroll about uh, around uh, 15 coach builders uh, I also enroll discount coaches and many of them are turning into uh, coach builders also uh, through their journey. Love it. Now kind of the same thing when you first started what was that number what did that number look like? At first I was uh, really scared about sharing this business opportunity so um, I was not really um, enrolling coaches uh, but so I came to a point that I realized that if I wanted to uh, reach my goal with this opportunity that I really had to develop my team so uh, when I decided to put more effort uh, it was five around uh, four or five um, a month okay Great to know. Thank you so much. We have one question left, and it is our random hat question, which is in a firefighter hat by chance. So let's look at this. And the random question is, what is the last book you read? Uh, the last book I read, it was a five second rule by Mel Robbins. And this book has really changed uh, everything for me. Uh, I really like to uh, listen to audio um, because uh, I can do it during I'm uh, doing uh, other things. <laughs> and um, I really love this book. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Melissa. Merci beaucoup. We appreciate you taking the time to do this, what it takes. Um, have a wonderful day and thanks for sharing your best practices and your tips. Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.